I guess I better get the nitty gritty shot. I guess I better get the nitty gritty shot. Bullshit! So my right arm is dicked <coughs> from wrecking on that pile of shit, which was a lot farther out here, but I peeled out on a bunch of it and I kicked a bunch of it back. As I get my little fish tail on, zero fucks given. And so my right arm is still dicked and it's been like a week plus, but nonetheless, yeah, you know, I, I aggravated it, right? I went to chop up railroad ties the other day and that fucked it up. And then, you know, I drove 600 miles to Florida and then 600 miles back, which exerted it more than it otherwise would have been. And uh, right now I'm doing something stupid, like wearing a shoulder holster, because, you know, there's a fucking mass shooting in Georgia every goddamn day. So, you know, last thing you want to do is be caught caught out without your fucking weapon, right? Not that I need to play hero, but not that I need to play hero or protectorate, but not that I have any desire to shoot anybody. But given the opportunity, given the opportunity and given that's the only choice or the best choice, the most viable choice, I'll cap the motherfucker. Either way, the main point being is I'd rather have the opportunity to do so than not. You know what I mean? God damn it. Maybe I could stay on the road. That'd be great. Great, if I can stay on the road. Great. So, arm's still dicked. I was exercising it before we ran away from Florida because of the weather. We're actually supposed to get some more weather, but it's not supposed to super severe here. But just like, I mean, a little bit moderate risk, so definitely, we'll, we'll probably definitely get hit then. Um, <laughs> the one when it was real bad last week and I ran away, everything's fine. This one, not supposed to be that bad, probably take me the fuck out. So I've been looking, man, I hope this ain't too bad audio with this window. So I've been looking at motorcycles for, you know, a solid three years. Just waiting for the opportunity, waiting for the position, waiting till we'll be in the position where I can buy it and not, and we still have some money and I won't be broke, but I don't have to finance it really. Um, so I'm not making hella payments. So I've been looking and waiting and hoping. And I'm like, and I'm looking, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I can't do it. Like, I want to buy, yeah, I was gonna buy a new, a new version of what I have, but those are like ten thousand dollars. The new version of the Honda CFR 250, CF, CRF 250R, but they're like ten, they're like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, and I don't really need a race motorcycle. And so, I eventually uh, resigned myself to the fact that I'm gonna have to get the trail bike version of that which is like a CRF 250F, 
not R. So it's not race, it's just four stroke. And uh, and those are like 4,600 bucks. Great. Birds. Better price, but it's like, fuck man, like 250. Like, how am I gonna go to a 250 trail bike after bouncing around on this 250R? You know what I mean? Get a lot more power. Not that I need all of it, but I want at least some of it, or I want the ability to have it. So I, I was going back and forth for forever. And every time I'd think like, okay, I'm gonna go get one, I'd look again and I'd be like, yeah, I just can't, I just can't settle for a 250 trail bike. Man, if they would only upgrade. I stopped looking for like six months. And lo and behold, out of the blue, within the last couple of weeks, like month really, I started looking. Um, within a couple of weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, I started looking, and all of a sudden I see, I hear tell of this Kawasaki 300 version that came out in 2020 that I somehow missed. I guess because I was hung up inside of the pandemic and I hadn't looked for, you know. So somehow I missed that. Maybe because I never looked for Kawasaki's. And uh, also, you should know that like dirt bikes, race bikes, like you gotta do, you gotta do valve jobs on them and engine jobs on them. Like, you know, after just a few hours of riding, that's the main thing I'm trying to get away from. I want, I want big time service interval intervals before uh, between services. I want like road bike type service intervals. Interval, man, I can't speak. I'm listening to my lady too. So. And the, they, the, WR, the WRF 250, which is the Yamaha version, uh, they don't, the, their dual sport is basically like they kind of just tone down their race bike a little bit, put mirrors and lights on it, and boom. But that means you got to have valve jobs on it like every eight hours or whatever. At least that was the old ones. I don't know if it's changed or not. And plus it's like $7,000 for that bike. So anyway, the new KLX 300, the th new KLX 300R is like five grand, man, like 5,500 bucks. And I'm, so I got my heart set on that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get one. As soon as I get the money, I'm going to get one. Here in a couple weeks, I'll have the money, I'm going to get one. This is like a month ago. And then within, I'm just, so I'm looking at it all the time. I'm looking, recent, watching YouTube videos, reading reviews, like finding people in other countries that have already gotten it and all this. And then I come to realize they're making an actual dual sport, an actual on-road version, street legal version of the KLX as well. And so now I'm really torn. I'm like, well, fuck, do I want that? Because I'm, I'm going to ride off-road, but... And I know they're not exactly the same bike. Dual Sport is not exactly the same as off-road trail bike, but they're pretty close. And uh, I'm going to be riding on a lot of roads to get to the places, you know, to the off-road places I'm going to ride. I'm going to have to ride on roads at least some of the time because you can't even always ride on the shoulder. Sometimes because there is no shoulder, and sometimes because it's not safe because maybe it's overgrown or you can't see what's you know summertime. They really let these shoulders overgrow and shit. So now I'm like, fuck, do I want a dual sport? And so now I'm going back and forth over that for the last couple weeks. And in that, I discovered that there's actually, that Honda has discontinued their 250 dual sport and is now making a 350 dual, uh, 300 dual sport. I'm like, well, fuck. So now I'm, ex now I'm just all over the place. <laughs> so basically the KLX looks exactly the same as all the 250s they've been making for years. And in fact, the vast majority of parts made for the KLX 250s over the past few years will fit on the KLX 300 because the frame design and everything is identical. Whereas the Honda, this is a brand new build. Um, yes, they discontinued their 250 dual sport and are now making a 350 dual, a 300 dual sport, <coughs> but it's a, it's a uniframe, it's a solid one piece frame, it's not multiple, and it's, it's different, it's different, but it looks way more sleeker. Like the KLX doesn't look bad by any means, I like the way it looks, but it looks like every dirt bike slash dual sport from Kawasaki has looked for the past 25 years. You know, it's, the styling has not changed since the late 70s. And they didn't even put a, they don't have an ABS option, which the Honda does, although I don't know if I can find that one. And they didn't even put an LED light on this battery so quick. That had three out of four bars. That must be a bad battery too. We got one left. Hopefully I get some recording in. Okay, so the KLX didn't update the headlight or anything else really. Um, whereas the Honda, it's got an LED headlight, it looks way sleeker, it looks way more like a dirt bike than it does an on-road bike. Like, it's just badass looking. Um, but I still kind of had my heart set on the Kawasaki, and plus all the gear I bought is fucking Kawasaki green, right? What the fuck? So am I really going to ride a 
am I really going to ride red with Kawasaki green all over, all over my bidet? Well, I don't know. We'll go see. That was a pretty dog. I should have shown y'all. Um, so, there are no Kawasaki's available in the state of Georgia. I've got to drive to Florida or Alabama, and each of those only got like two. North Carolina's got like 14. That's in the whole state. Like, in the whole state, you can find one or two. In the whole country, I mean, you can find one or two in some states. North Carolina's got like 14. There are no, there are no more anywhere else. So after looking for like four days now, trying to find, hoping for something, and trying to debate whether or not I want to drive, plus I don't know if a place out of state is going to, I got 4000 I want to spend on it right now. Technically I have all the money, maybe not after taxes, but uh, I don't want to empty the bank account, right? I'd like to leave a couple grand in the bank account over the next couple weeks and have some money to spend. So uh, I'm, I'm looking to put down four and finance two, or finance 2500 maybe. The bike's like... 52 for the non-ABS and 56 for the ABS version, or maybe 54. Um, so you figure out with tax and however much they want to charge me for financing, you know, it's probably going to be a couple grand at least. Now I'm going to need to finance. So hopefully they'll do it. I don't know if they will or not. Um, I don't have my heart set on buying a bike today. I know how stupid I am. I, ha I really want an ABS. If I'm getting the Honda, I would like to get the option with ABS for on-road usage because it's way safer, and then you just turn it off when you go off-road. Um, Kawasaki doesn't have that option. It's not it's not imperative, but any of y'all that knows, any of y'all that ride a motorcycle knows, the second you kick that back wheel, that back brake on, if you don't have ABS, that shit's going to kick out from under you. That's why riders try to get in the habit of not using their back brakes because it's so uncontrollable. Um, I'd like to not have to think about it and have a computer doing the thinking for me. There's one more thing that can go wrong with the bike, obviously, but... So, I don't know. I'm hoping to get a Honda CRF 250 or 300L <coughs> ABS version. It doesn't appear that this place I'm going has any. Marietta, Georgia does have one, but I think they only have the rally version. I don't want the rally version. And either way, that's like a two-hour drive there and a two-hour drive back, as opposed to a half-hour drive here and a half-hour drive back. Um, so I'm going to go see what they got. Hopefully I'm smart enough not to walk away with a non-ABS version. But if they can't give me an ABS version for several months, I may go ahead and walk out with the non-ABS version, assuming they let me. From the mi limited, minimal amount of research I've done, you can put ABS on a non-ABS vehicle for no more than about 600 bucks, probably, to do it on the bike. Um, so that may be something to look into the future. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm, I'm still torn, especially because I really kind of even don't want a dual sport. Fuck, for this little limited amount of money, I can probably convince the old lady to let me get a KLX 300R here in a year or so. You know, the off-road version. Not the, and then I'll have a Honda dual sport for on-road when I want to kick around. And if I want to load up the bike and go do some riding somewhere, you know, then I'll have the KLX 300R also. Um, Either that or I could always get my two, I could get this Honda that I have now, I could take it in and get it fixed probably, tuned up a little bit at a place that doesn't charge 600 bucks for valve jobs. Incidentally, that's where I'm going to look at the bike because it's the only place in Georgia that has the bike. Well, the at least, at least place in Georgia close that has the bike, otherwise i got to drive a couple hours. So that kind of pisses me off. These are the, the cocksuckers that charge me $600 for a valve job on the what used to be Frank's motorcycle, you know, the one I have now. And then they also wanted to, you know, they're the ones that were like, they're like, they called me, they're like, oh, you know, so once we take it apart, if you don't get it fixed, like, you're just asked out, we just throw it away. I mean, not that, but like, you're just done. Like, you, we give it back to you in pieces. So that kind of bullshit makes me not even want to go and buy a bike there. But the fact that it's a brand new bike and I shouldn't have to do anything for it for a long time, I don't know, it'd probably be all right. I wish this dude would get the fuck out of my way, though. Three years before I drove by here, and these used to be saplings, and now it's just an overgrown forest of pine. So their website says they have four, and they have zero, but I'm the stupid one for not calling, probably, right? What the fuck? So here's the situation, and the situation is this. I done, I done drilled one hole in my, in my how you doing, and it went through my fender away. Right, let's try this one more time. So what we got going on here is I done, I done drilled a hole my fender well oh this is way harder without an action cam 
can't see there. Can't see Naunton. Okay, so yeah. And uh, you know, from this side, I'm like, oh, I'll drill a hole in my fight through my firewall. Right there. Well that went into my fender wheel. So I readjusted my angle and I got this bad boy coming through just bigger than snot balls, which I will have to just Okay. Still waiting to hear something. Yeah. There's my hole through my firewall. That white caulk is supposed to dry clear. And when it does, I'll caulk up more. I can't reach it from the other side. <laughs> but it has poured out severely. It has poured out severely. You know, in the last amp wire I had shoved up under my thing and I'm but no, I'm not even I'm not even doing that anymore. It's not worth it. It's too difficult when I had to change it and uh this is, uh, I've got the RCAs running down that side too. So I don't, I want them as separate as possible through carpet and plastic, but I'm definitely not rerunning the RCAs. And I forgot when I initially ran that years ago that you're supposed to separate them, even though I knew it was a rule. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't thinking in point of fact, but yeah, I've got a little boom now. EQ is shot, like I said, so it's not hooked up, but it's still there. It's just. So I, so I know where to put the other one, I guess. But yeah, got a little, got a little tunage now, finally. It's a dog. Oh, I think it's a bulldog. Oh, maybe it is for a Georgia bulldog. In the doctor's office trying to get my arm checked out. Okay. It's time. It's time to go ahead and epoxy this counter. And uh, I am not looking forward to it in the least. And if they told you I was, they were lying. But uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get after it. I'm probably gonna go ahead and give this rug one final sweep, this floor one final sweep, and uh, get to it. Okay, I think we got her all leveled up. to me that I should probably be set up at the other end so that I'm not in my own way. Okay, that's probably the best I can get you. The image is going to be a little bit washed out because it's dark down there and it's bright down here. I pulled the shades halfway so hopefully that'll uh, give us a little bit of balance there. Definitely gonna have to get me a squeegee in order to uh, do my flood coat because that little that little paddle ain't working for this big old thing. But it'll be alright for my seal coat, even though it looks totally dicked. It doesn't really matter because my next seal coat should fill in all the holes, and I gotta sand it down anyway, which uh, I'm definitely gonna take outside to do, even though I was hesitant before. Yeah, there's no way because I'm just gonna get everything sanded in here if I do that. But nothing now to do but wait. I may come in every couple of minutes and hit it with this blowtorch. Try to get any air bubbles out that pop out, but uh, I don't know, it's first step done. I totally forget to tape the bottom though, so that kind of sucks. Um, probably to hit it up actually with the 
with the foam brush right now and try to get any drippies. Tape it up when I sand it.